Today I wanted to show you a new event in Tasker. It's called Event App Received Share. This means that you can trigger a profile based on receiving a share into Tasker. Let me let me show you how it works. I already have some profiles with the event set up here. All of these are disabled. The only one that's enabled is this one. This has no filters, so you can see everything here is empty. And in the task, I simply do say WaveNet and then shared subject from app name. What this does is it takes the subject and the app name from the share and then says it out loud. Let's test it out. So if I go into any app, like Chrome for example, and then I do share and choose Tasker. Shared Tasker, total automation for Android from Chrome. So as you see, as you can hear, it got the subject, which is the, the page name, and then the app name and said it out loud. So this is the very basics of sharing into Tasker. You share something and you get info out of that share and do whatever you want with it. But now you can do something even cooler, which is enabling the share trigger. A share trigger is a simple word or expression that you want to use and that will allow you to select what you want to do with the share when you when you do the share. So in task in Chrome, let's try this again. If I share it here, now I get this option. I can either trigger trigger it with the flash trigger or use no share trigger. If I use this, it's just the same as before, but if I use this you can see that it shows all of the information about the share on your screen in a flash because my profile says when I receive a, flat, a share with that trigger then I'll do that task. It gets the share data and shows it in a flash. Well, all that data is a little too much for me to see in just a few seconds when, when the flash is showing so why not enable it in a text dialog? So now if I go back and share it again, I get two options, one for text dialog and another for flash. So with the same share, now I can show a dialog with all the info. And this dialog will stay on the screen much longer. So this is just an example to show you how you can do different things using the share triggers. Moving on, you can even do, do more filtering on your shares. For example, in this example, I am using a filter that only takes shares from Solid Explorer. And I even set a share trigger saying uh, called copy file. So if I enable this, oh, sorry, I think I didn't enable it. If I enable this, and now if I go again to Chrome and share, you can see that it didn't add uh, the option here because I'm not sharing from Solid Explorer. Shared Tasker, total automation for Android from Chrome. But if I go to Solid Explorer and share a file from there, you can see that there's this option here, even with the app icon that says copy file. So the relevant shares will only appear inside the apps where they make sense. So copy file, I just show this flash saying that the file was copied. If I go back here and enable even another share just to show you, now this is configured to receive a share from uh, the messaging app, from the messages app from Android. And now if I share this text, and select Tasker, you can see that there's a read SMS option, but the copy file option is not here because that is configured for Solid Explorer only and not the Messages app. SMS text, cool. So if I do this, you can see that it executes the share, uh, the trigger. You may have noticed 
in the Messages app that when you share this text, this quick share uh, screen here shows up and Tasker can also show icons here. So in this example I have enabled two profiles one with the flash and one with the text icon, uh, text dialog and if I use these I don't have to select the app and then the, the share trigger I can just trigger it directly. See? Just one click away instead of two. Now you might, you might find these cumbersome and might not want these here so I added an option in preferences where you can disable these direct share targets so if you go back to messages they lo no longer show here but if you go inside the tasker share you can use the normal share trigger so these are all the new features in tasker regarding receiving shares you can receive shares set up share triggers set up set up uh, app filters and much more you can also enable or disable the direct shares as shown here i hope you enjoy sharing stuff into tasker and i hope you can do a lot of stuff with this hope you enjoyed it bye